My name is Ashley Horner. I have two small children, two and four. Their names are Trip and Cash. I choose to live the fitness and the healthy lifestyle because I believe it makes me a better person and I wanted to be a true example to not only my children to live a healthier lifestyle but to moms who have gone through the pregnancies and who have had the c-sections that yes you can be beautiful and strong and driven and you can be an incredible mom and you can still take hold of something that you love in life and I'm, it was something that I fell in love with and I just continued to do it. Whenever I'm at the gym, I immediately put on my headphones and I usually get on the treadmill and just walk for like five minutes and I really focus and remind myself why I'm there. It gives me a chance to kind of disconnect from the mom life and from everything else, from work, you know, all my clients, everything going on and then just to get the right mindset of why I'm there to train. I usually train about five to six days a week. Um, I usually hit the typical back by chest tries, shoulders and legs, and then I will hit uh, glutes and hams together. Every day I'm usually hitting my legs, you know, like the jump squats, uh, the walking lunges, because I want to keep my legs nice and tight and toned, and I don't necessarily want to build my legs. Well, for leg day, for instance, I keep my weight fairly light, um, at a, probably a moderate weight, and I always do high reps. For my glute days, I keep everything a little bit heavier. My reps are 10 to 12, and I'll do three to four sets. My shoulders, I had to work on getting my upper body a little bit bigger and a little bit more built. So I did go through a phase where I was training like 10 to 12 reps, three to four sets, so with a spotter usually so I could kind of go heavier. But everything else, I, I keep it pretty basic. My cardio is about 30 minutes every day. And again, just like my weight training, I'm always switching it up with cardio. If it's swimming in the ocean, like I love running and, and walking outside with my kids and riding my bike. I really try to be creative with my cardio. If I know I'm gonna have to do my cardio inside, I usually have to hit cardio before I do weights. And the reason is because I love the weight room so much and not so much the cardio that I know I'll like come up with an excuse not to do my, my cardio at the end. My training, if I am on the treadmill, I love to do hit sessions because again, it's hard for me to do like the same thing, just like running on the treadmill at the same pace the entire time. So I love to do incline running, like 8% incline. I love to do like sprints at like 10 miles per hour, like really fast. I'll do side shuffles on the treadmill. So I'm like, like again, it's a treadmill, but I'm like all over the place. I do have rest days. I'm always active though. It's usually, you know, the kids and I are at the beach playing, like we have a Frisbee out, like we're taking the dogs to the beach. We're going on hikes on our rest days. It's just leisure fun. I think a lot of people find that balance in their lives, especially whenever they have a family and a husband and kids, that's the biggest, one, I think one of the biggest issues is you don't know if you're doing too much or if you're, you know, you're not doing enough and then you miss your workout and you feel guilty but then you're at the gym for so long and then you're like, I need to get home to my kids and dinner needs to be made. And to be honest, I don't think there's really a set balance for any person. I think it really depends on what's going on in their lives at the time. For me to have that hour and a half where I can do nothing but just focus on myself, I believe it really, it calms me in a way. My workouts are always intense, but I walk away feeling, feeling accomplished. I think the benefits of setting short, short term goals for yourself, I actually think it prevails you to achieving your long-term goals. They're like little mini competitions with yourself. I, I think they're great. I think it keeps you motivated for sure. You know, that's a huge factor in all the short-term goals and they always have to be realistic. I'm always changing it up. It's usually the change up of the routine that really helps overcome plateaus.
Sometimes I'll get a workout buddy. That helps usually um, the accountability of knowing that I'm gonna have somebody at the gym waiting for me. And also whenever you bring a workout partner into the program, they usually have different ideas. And so you can be like, oh yeah, like I've never done that, you know, for my, for my back. Like that looks like it would be a great exercise. Let's try it. My advice to someone just starting out in the gym would be to not get intimidated by everybody else in the gym. More than likely, they're not even going to notice that you're there because they're going to be so focused on themselves. Nutrition for me, I think of it like this. I want my body to run on the best possible fuel I can give it. I always eat clean all year round. I love the way it makes me feel. I love the way it energizes me, and I love eating whole foods. There was a time whenever I was eating a lot of processed foods, I didn't even know the meaning of clean eating, and I slowly like changed my entire lifestyle over to clean foods, which are you know anything from the earth. I eat usually five to six meals a day. It always starts out with a protein and a carbohydrate in the morning. I'll do anything from um, protein pancakes to just oatmeal if I'm in a hurry. I love Ezekiel bread, so I'm usually munching on that. With egg whites, sometimes I'll even cook up a little chicken breast in the morning. My snack, I'll eat every two to three hours. And so my next meal would be like a protein shake. It would be like some almonds, maybe a small apple. I'll eat again and lunchtime is usually like a huge salad. Um, I love my vegetables. You could put any vegetable in front of me and I would eat it. Um, I would have another snack before the dinner meal and it would be something like Greek yogurt. I love Greek yogurt with fresh blueberries, maybe some honey and then almonds. And then for dinner, I really like bison, which is kind of like a new thing for me. It's very lean, it's incredibly high in, in protein. So I've been grilling a lot of bison. I love salmon, one of my favorite Salmon meals are is like a little bit of honey with crushed almonds on top of it and then you just bake it and it's really good. I have a four year old that is already starting to know the difference between carbohydrates and proteins and you know it can start at a very early age. I've learned to make things that they will like. I love making homemade pizza for them. We'll probably have that twice a week and it's 100% homemade pizza and it's so much fun because because they get to put their own toppings on it. You know, my two-year-old wants to like eat all the cheese like off the top of the pizza before it's even cooked. Every kid seems to love pepperoni pizza, but you can find turkey roni, which is like so much less fat, and it still has the same amount of protein, and it tastes exactly like pepperoni. Like your kids are not gonna be able to tell the difference, but you're making a better decision for them. My diet changes, I would say about six weeks out from a show. So yeah, whenever my mindset kind of changes towards a competition um, coming up, it, it gets a little bit more um, drawn in a little bit. Like I turn in the dial a little bit. I, I pay attention to the amount that I'm eating. I stay clean all year round. So maybe, you know, I'll make sure that I'm just having that one cheat meal during the week. So it's a little bit more strict, yeah. But I'm still eating every two to three hours. I'm just starting to pay a little bit more attention to it. I think it's good to cheat. I, I think it really sets you up like mentally for the week because then you know you know that you have that one day, like whether it's Friday, Saturday, like whatever day that you have, that you that you can look forward to. I don't think it's always important as someone who is beginning a weight training program to incorporate all the supplements out there. It can get a bit overwhelming and confusing, in my opinion, especially if, if you're new to the gym, new to the healthy lifestyle. What's more important to me at this point in, in a person's workout program is that they're just getting their multivitamin, they're getting their iron. So stuff like that is more important than necessarily jumping head first into a bunch of supplements. So I'm always taking my multivitamin. I take D3 and I take a fish oil. I'm not a big supplement taker, I do, however, at times enjoy taking a pre-energy workout whenever I need it. You know, those days that you need the little bit of extra like push to get yourself going in the gym. 
and it really gets, you know, it gets my blood going. Um, it helps me to stay a little bit more focused and I can be a little bit more driven longer and I, I do actually have a good workout on those days. And I'll take the, the protein shakes usually after I work out or I'll incorporate it into like a snack. I just take actually whey protein. Anytime I do have a protein shake, I usually have to blend it with ice and I'll add like, you know, like a banana to it, a half of a banana or some peanut butter to my proteins. And I usually just go by not only numbers, but it has to taste great too. If you would like to get my full nutritional program, supplementation program, or training program, check out the page below. You can also find me on Body Space. My username is Ashley Horner. And for more content like this, check out bodybuilding.com.